What is going on guys? Today we have got our first review of headliners. If you haven't seen, there is going to be two squads of this headliners. The first week is going to be what we can see is Neymar, Salah, Lewandowski, Samedo, Vardy. A lot of really, really nice players. And then the second week, we have no speculation yet. I can imagine they'll be dropping hints throughout the week. Uh, maybe even a loading screen like three, two days before to kind of let us know who we've got. Uh, but Semedo is the first one we get him, 350k currently and probably will drop as there is another lightning round. We're doing this at half seven, so there is still, I believe, one, two, five Ks. So we will go ahead and see what they do. Um, I can imagine they'll drop this card very, very quickly um, because just looking at him being 350k, I think that's actually a really nice price for this card. If he gets any informs, he's going to be very, very nice. I rated this card so heavily in his inform, even so that I put a left back inform into a right back position for almost 400 games and playing him on 7 chem. I cannot wait to get my hands on this card. I think this is one of the ones, unfortunately, that may not make the squad entirely, mainly because we have got team of the year Trent in there and... Honestly, even if this card got to 90, Trent is an absolute animal. So I'm a bit annoyed at that fact because this card would be literally the upgrade that I'd have made from his inform and sold his inform and then spent 200k to get this card at whatever price. But we will have a look at him. We'll see how he goes. 94 pace on him. He has got a catalyst in this draft. Um, his def defendant's 83. That, for me, would be something I'd work on. A sentinel would be my... Uh, chemistry style for him it would raise that defense and physical very very nicely everything else wise and i think this is where trent kind of has the better advantage trent's a very overall all-round right back granted he is what nine ratings higher than this or something like that i think what is he a 95 i want to say i can't remember and he's in my team but trent for me is an overall perfect right back i don't think many people will beat him just yet Obviously, this card can get upgraded, so we are going to go into the first match. Uh, I think these cards will start to really rise as we get more and more. We do have Tellers on the bench, and I was debating whether to do a double upload or a double review on this draft. But I thought, you know what? We got two in the very first draft. I'm going to do the first one with just one. Uh, more than likely, we will bring him on and see how he goes first. But I'm going to do an, a separate draft for him as I do want to get him on 10 chem in the actual team. Um, if I could get him in the team, I'd have done a double. But because we can't and this guy is obviously playing him left back instead. Um, and I think that's one thing with Semedo is I've used him in multiple matches. I don't think he really matters on 7 chem for me. I, I think he's been a solid, solid right back for me as a left back. And I think he could definitely do left back. Honestly, I probably wouldn't put him as a left back if he's the right back card, just because he is right footed. I like to have that left back, left footed, right back, right footed. So we are going to go into this first match and we will see how he goes. Or maybe we won't. So going into the first, second match, we are coming up against, against Semedo. Lovely Liverpool team going on there. Aguero, Zidane is always, always good. On the right side at centre mid, I'm not too sure, but Messi's there as well. Same as me, Ver, uh, Van Dijk and Lenglet as the centre backs. That is who I was missing in this team is Varane. He, obviously, I've gone with Jordi Alba because I really only had Hummels and Skriniar to work with. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. Tomatoes on the ball. I've always found him to be quite a fast right back as well. We're waiting for Messi to get through. We managed to get that ball. Lovely ball inside. Can we get it across? Lenglet cleaning up work, but very nice already. Good pass off. Um, and honestly, I, I've just been enjoying Semedo uh, when I've been using him. And I think in general, everything about him is quite quality. Um, I think pace-wise, he's perfect. He obviously fits the meta of the game. Tackling-wise, again, as you can see, does stand and tackle very, very well. The overlap's coming from him, even though I didn't really push him up too much. Managed to get it back inside with Messi. Go one more. We go with... It was that. It was that. I don't even know who that really was then. We're going to bring this guy forward. Can we get to Messi? Is he going to follow? He is eventually. Can we go for this one over here? Jordi Alba with a cheeky head over. Lenglet within. Digne. Not quite. Pireo. Pireo. Boom. There's a goal. 1-0. And honestly, 
to start with, I genuinely thought this guy was probably going to beat me. He's very, very good on that pass. And obviously with his attacking players, they're very dangerous. Zidane's already had a shot. Semedo's quelled a few chances. Nothing major just yet. Very big bog standard defending for me. But again, if he can do the basics, that's mainly the, the half step right there. As long as he can kind of stay in the position, that's a great ball. That's a good save. Back out. Lovely composure work right there. Oh, that's a great save by Schmeichel. Big head out by uh, Jordi Alba as well. Probably... Oh, no, that's rubbish. The best choice I've probably got with uh, my kind of centre-back role. And Zidane's just so dangerous around that box. It's a rubbish ball out. He's giving it back to Zidane. That's a fantastic set. Oh, no. Fantastic save. I'm very, very nervous on this clearance. We've managed to get it out. We need to kind of quell this situation. And this is it. He's very good at pressing. Good at that pass and that tackle. Again, that, that's just genuinely poor play by me. Rubbish pass out. Can we kind of quell? He's going to pass it across. We've managed. We've managed to get it out again. We need to get it out of this corner. He's really defending this corner very, very well. Messi will just keep him on the run. Can we get a little back? There we go. Okay, we're a little bit more out. We've got no attackers, really. We play in that 4-3-3 uh, false, false, uh, what is it? False 4 or false 9? Aguero's, hey, Petit has been knocked over, Aguero. It's a good save. It's a good save. Not really going doing too much. Can we go back out again to Jordi Alba? We get that little ball in. Oh, no, that's rubbish. I wanted that more to the uh, the left-hand player there. Watch Aguero. Always watch Aguero. See, that's always who he's going to. And then he's going to go back. Semedo's going to be on that tackle. He sees him. He's going to cut in. Oh, and I thought I'd be able to get hooked onto that. It's a good goal. And this is the issue. I don't want... I... Aguero rolls it. Oh, my beautiful work from Scream Aguero. And if you've not seen the review, go check it out because he is an absolute banging player. Right there, he makes Van Dyke look like Petit. Beautiful work. He's got the rebound and out. And that's half time. So we're 2 1 up. Very, very good start. Um, bit shaky on the defense, as you see, with. We're managing to have pretty much the same shots, so I feel like we're definitely in deserve of a win at the least. But we do have plenty of subs that we can use. Um, we are going to whack. What's Tellers like then? We've got good defending. What's he in comparison to, to Alba? See, I quite like Alba's defensive stuff there. Um, he's got better defending, so I think we're going to put him on for Digne. See how he goes there. I don't really have a central midfielder, but Silva's just not doing it for me. Not that quick enough. So we've got to make the free subs now and hope that we manage to get through. Um, if not, then we are going to have a trail of extra time. But we should be able to, to clinch up this victory. We just realistically need one more. And then we can kind of at least let a goal in if we need to. Tomato's making that run. That's what I like to see. He's going to get tackled, is he? He's going to get the ball across in Aguero. Assist for Semedo. Fantastic right there. And again, that's what he can do. Granted, with how I, pay, uh, how I play personally, I wouldn't have him overlapping, mainly because he will overlap quite a lot. His work rates kind of design him to. We have got the speed glitch to start this. Not very good with the, uh, the goal kick OP on. Um, but... I wouldn't really have him kind of overlapping a lot because he does leave you out. Regardless of how quick you are or who you are, if you're leaving that kind of role free, more than likely they will be able to cut in at some point and probably take that position off you. That's great work from him right there. That's lovely from Lenglet. Can we get Messi on the go? Not too quick. And already you can see him making that overlap straight away into him. Let's... Let's get, oh no, but he's kind of stopped running there with, uh, I don't even know who that is. Who is it? Pareo. But we'll keep running with him, get him back in that position. Semedo, comfortable defending from him there. Get that ball over to Messi. Get on that run. Ah, oh, he's going to get that tackle. Oh, and he's just managed to get back from him. Oh, Messi's managed to win it back though. Go with that. Inside. Oh, I just nearly got that drag. 
Can Petit win it back? Get back to Semedo. Is he there? He is. Lovely work. There we go. And drag. Beautiful there from him. Go inside to Petit. One more. We can see the roll inside. Ah, he's slow on that dribble, whoever that is. Aguero, go for the shot. <sighs> Lovely work. Lovely work. We're actually making more of a progress on this second half now. Tellez with a wicked challenge right there as well. And again, Jordi Alba stepping up. Gets it to Aguero. Can we go around and drag? Lovely. Around the world. Little fake. We see Messi put him in. Ah, oh, not quite. Just a little bit too much. And again, Semedo's on ball. Let's try a run. We'll come back. Drag it. Oh, he's going to get tackled with that. But we've won the ball. That's, that's what you want from him. Winning the ball in high positions like that. Making us get to these sort of challenges. We're going to turn him. Pass it in. We're going to have a shot. I, don't, I wanted to go for a fake shot, but we kept with the shot. We're going to dip this ball in. Aguero's on the end of it. And he's secured the bag. 86th minute. 4-1. Let's go. Oh, and he's managed to get one more constellation goal for him, but we've managed to secure that bag in this match and make it into our second match. First game analysis from Semedo. Very happy with how he's played. He's got an assist in the game. He's been very crucial with um, the other defensive players, to be honest. Uh, he's won oh, he's won no tackle. He's, to be honest, he's made interceptions more than tackles. And as you can see, they're the sort of stats that we're looking for for him. Mainly the defenders is what we're looking for tackles. Jordi Alba not being the greatest centre-back in the world. And Lenglet having to really step up to secure that defence area for me. But that is what we need to do in draft. It's not all about necessarily having that perfect position team. It's about having a team that links well together. And I felt like this team's glued quite nicely. Pareo and Silva slash Hammers is not really the greatest attacking mids that we've got. Not really box to box. That's where I'd like to see someone like De Jong, um, team of the year especially, and then possibly Conte's team of the year. That would then secure this team all the way through, to be honest. So we're coming up against an informed Varane. We're looking at Robert, uh, Robertson as a team of the year. Salah in form. So we're looking at a decent amount. We're going to be trying him against uh, team of the group stage Son in this match. So this should definitely be a very heavy um, defending area for him. And that's a great goal. Kept him onto his left foot. Not a good move at all. We are going to put Hammers on straight away. And I think I am going to put Tellez on. He had a cracking start to the game as well. Um, Bernard, I'm going to keep on at the minute. And then we'll look for Hazard when everyone's a little bit more tired. I feel like putting him on now may be a little bit too early to whack on an attacking player. When predominantly the, the front three we've got are not terrible. Even though I didn't really like Bernard last time. I'm kind of growing to him on draft a little bit more. Oh, and Messi and Semedo are doing work there. He has brought Neymar on. I don't know which version. But Semedo's cut in there for Messi. And just Messi doing what Messi does best, to be honest. 90, what, 95 Messi with a hunter. You honestly don't want to let that guy cut in because he will make you pay. Oh, and Neymar does what Neymar does best in that one. Just the 92 as well. So we haven't seen a 94 of him yet oh and he's kept it oh and it's a good goal to be honest it's fooled nicely for him there um, to be honest really he's not he's not like the greatest player in the world but he's managed to get that the first goal was good he, he absolutely turned me and I'm not finding the passes here it's a formation that I'm not I'm not a big fan of. I don't think I'll be choosing the 4-3-3 uh, centre-forward version ever again after this. But we are making move. I feel like the game is definitely not over yet. So we'll try and get another goal back if we can. We're going to try and get someone else on the ball. Petit with left foot. Big header. <coughs> Prejo. Prejo. And Aguero have we managed. 
There we go. Lovely work from Pareo. It's the shame that he hasn't really got the skills or or kind of that dribbling aspect because actually that was some really nice play. I thought he was going to get tackled way into that. That's a p poor defending right there. Kind of gone in all heavy on him at the minute. Samedo doing work there. Lovely. Petit's going to keep it. Back it to Samedo. That's it. Let's drive a little. Beautiful. Back in. One more. Oh, it's a bit slow on that pass. Oh, and he's, he's, he's read that really, really well. Need to kind of stop with that dribble. That's a good boy. He's, he's totally on side. Salah's going to take it round everybody. Great save from Schmeichel. Keeping me in the game. 3 2 still. Let's see what we can do in this second portion of the second half. Oh, that's a good ball. Petit on Petit. Lovely work. Let's go. Big boy. We need Messi on that run. Where is he? Come on, Messi. Hurry up. Aguero. Great shot. Almost causing that keeper some problems right there. Going for a quick ball in the middle. Aguero's going to be on that header. Not quite. Oh, that's a great ball. That is a fantastic goal right there. And I feel like he's probably going to hang on now. Has it get back up? Nope, he's kicked it out. That's a lovely. Ah, oh, that's a great time wasted ball. Keeper, don't kick it out. We've managed to steal one back with a very random header from Petit. I thought a keeper was literally just going to punch that away, and we've managed to get kind of a deflection. Samedo's going to easily get that tackle and manage to win that ball back. Samedo on Neymar. He's got the pace, he's just not got the tackle. Not bringing my keeper out for that. 5-3, there's no chance of a comeback now. Unfortunately, we have kind of hit a brick wall. I think the team overall didn't really do what I wanted. And obviously, he's going to stop playing. Um, didn't really do what I wanted. Defensively, I felt like they could have done more. Um, but I think this guy's definitely broke me down enough to really do something. And I... Just talking too much there. Didn't, didn't even recognise. Thought the game was going to be over by then. So unfortunately we have come to a conclusion. But Semedo still remains a very good player. And I think one of the better choices as a right back in this game now. Um, personally if you haven't got Timothy or Trent. If he wasn't the lucky one to be able to get him untradeable. Or you don't have a million coins to whack onto him. I think this card genuinely can be one of the best right backs in the game still i really really rated him like i said in his gold card in his informed card and and this card's just as good it's got a few little better stats i think pace is very very similar i'm pretty sure his inform had 93 um defensively i believe he's gone up by about three as well 80 to 83 um and 70 i, I want to say at about 77 physical could be quite wrong but i know it's gone up a little bit and the stats are showing a little bit more better each time. The agility and balance are really nice. He's very good on that pace and good at recovering. Tackling wise, I definitely would need a Sentinel. I felt like that was definitely shown in this match that his defending isn't as good as what it could be. With the Sentinel, it really raises that defense up and it will really show for you when you do have him in your team. I honestly would recommend him. I feel like if you can get him for around about 300K, um, I would say pick him up. With the chance of an upgrade, I'm probably going to put one of these in my team as well. If I can get him untradeable, that's even better. We are going to try all week to try and get one of these and we'll have a massive pack opening ready for that. We've already got one done this morning or um, this afternoon at 6 p.m. So we will do another one definitely before this ends and hopefully we can get ourselves a couple of these headliners in the club. For me, I'm giving him a solid 8.5 at the minute with the chance of him to go up. I'm not going to give him any higher because I feel like he's good. But when we see that 87 Semedo, that 88, who knows, a 90 rated Semedo, that would be absolutely phenomenal. The card would be GOAT material easily. Has that perfect link with Messi as well. So, and De Jong, to be honest, you get this card at a 90 plus Team of the Year De Jong and even any Messi, then you have got a really, really nice right side. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you think. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.